Hello everyone, this is Beak Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about Blue Beetle, the recent trailer that was released and whether the film will be a success or another failure within the DC Cinematic Universe. Now there could be spoilers here throughout for all movies and television series within the DC Cinematic Universe as it currently stands, so just be aware when going into this overall video. So we then take a look at Blue Beetle, which is overall the second live action DC movie within 2023 following Shazam Fury of the Gods. It is based on a comic book character that was created way back in August 1939, of which DC bought the rights to the character within 1983. Now the first interpretation of the character was named Don Garrett. His successor later on was Ten Court, who picked up the mantle in 1966. And the third iteration of which this movie is going with is named Jamie Reyes. The Blue Beetle concept is the hero coming across a powered entity, which was first an Egyptian scarab, but has been updated to something of more of an alien origin, of which it bonds with the wearer to create an extraterrestrial armour, granting the person who wears the armour certain abilities and special powers. Now the movie, which originally was going to be a streaming release on HBO Max, is now going to be set theatrically for release on August 2023. It will have actor Zola Madreira in the lead role, and we all know him from playing Miguel within Cobra Kai. Now, to be honest, I'm still surprised that we're actually getting a Blue Beetle movie. Of all of the characters within the DC catalogue that can be used, Blue Beetle wouldn't have probably even been in the first 10 to 15 names that I would have selected for a cinematic treatment. It's not really a character that particularly excites me in terms of the concept or the idea itself. And to be honest, when I'm looking at this trailer, it doesn't really get me any more excited for the Blue Beetle film. Looking at this trailer, it was very hectic and chaotic. We have all of those quick cuts and one-liners and hip-hop music and big bangs and explosions that we normally get nowadays. A lot of the tone was very evocative of the Phase 1 stage of Marvel. And it's somehow quite funny as to how many fans who support DC constantly draw comparisons as to how their movies are very different from Marvel. But if we look at the recent entries for release within the universe, they have felt very Marvel-esque when we look at the likes of Aquaman, The Suicide Squad, even the first Wonder Woman movie to an extent, and of course with Shazam. A lot of these films have the same tone and spirit and colour and brightness and energy, and this isn't necessarily a bad thing. But you can't deny that this trailer itself just feels so generic and all too familiar. We look at it and we get all of those vibes of the likes of Iron Man, Ant-Man, Spider-Man, Many have noticed that it shares so many common themes with the Gaiva anime. There are lots of tones of Transformers and Power Rangers. And even if you want to go further back, it shares elements of both Robocop and also Short Circuit. Now, I'm not sure whether this was intentional or not, but you just can't avoid these kind of comparisons, especially at this stage of where we are in terms of movies. And yes, this could be elements of superhero fatigue, though I've stated previously on this channel that I don't necessarily believe in superhero fatigue. I think... It's more down to bad movie or bad content fatigue. And if you have a certain lack of quality within the genre, then that's when the fatigue will happen. Now, there is the argument that perhaps Blue Beetle may have felt a bit fresher had it come out maybe seven or ten years ago. And yes, it's always good to have the lesser names within the comic book genre getting their chance to shine. You'll never know how successful a property can be unless you give it a chance. But again, due to the concept of Blue Beetle, there's nothing here that offers anything new or fresh that we haven't seen before. And yes, it's getting harder and harder to stand out nowadays within a superhero genre. You really need much more of an exceptional concept or an idea or a hook or a certain character or indeed a more prolific cast to really grab the audience's interest. Now, I'm not saying that the film itself will be terrible. We've had many cases where the trailer isn't that impressive and then we've gone to the film and many have said it was overall very good. We could recently look at the Dungeons and Dragons reboot. A lot of people weren't impressed with that trailer when it was released. But it seems that there's been a lot of good consensus and reaction from that film. Many people have stated that it was overall a fun time at the movies. So DC are probably hoping for the same reaction within Blue Beetle. Now aesthetically, it does have all of the bright colours, that comic book energy and that light-hearted spirit. Much more appealing than the grimness that what we saw of the Snyderverse. It looks like it will share the same family dynamic of Shazam. The lead character, Jamie Reyes, will share very similar dilemmas with Billy Batson in trying to juggle his younger life with that of being a superhero. So there should be a lot of warmth and heartfelt direction and charisma in terms of that family dynamic. And hopefully Solo Madreira will get to exhibit the same amount of likability that what we saw within his role as Cobra Kai. 
and his performance will of course be key as to overall whether the movie will be a success or not. And yes, the design and rendition of the suit itself looks very cool, very close to the source material, which is what you want to see. And some of the closing shots where we see him in a suit wielding a sword looks very cool, but also again, very familiar. So we then go on to the big talking point that got everybody reacting online. And that is, of course, the line referring to Batman that he is indeed a fascist. This is spoken by one of the family characters towards the end of the trailer. Now, this is clearly deliberate to try and trigger a reaction. DC are well aware that Blue Beetle is not as familiar as your Trinity in terms of Superman, Batman and Wonder Woman. So, of course, they're going to put in anything they can to garner interest or raise awareness, which sadly nowadays involves some sort of triggering in terms of outrage or controversy. If you really think about it, the line itself doesn't even make sense. We look at the role of Batman, who was a lone personality combating the element of crime. He's not a dictator of a regime. He doesn't try to rule society or claim dominion over its inhabitants. He's trying to eliminate the crime within society. Yes, he does use the elements of fear to combat crime, but he's not trying to suppress people or rule with a certain extremism. Batman is a character that very much hides behind the shadows. That hidden element of not knowing who he is and what he's about very much adds to his overall power. So in no way, shape or form is Batman an actual fascist. So I just treated that as a throwaway line. I very much doubt that we'll get a lot of context in terms of the overall movie. It's just going to be a one-off remark and then we'll push on with the arc of Blue Beetle. But once again, they're very well aware of social media. A lot of people will jump on the grift of using one line to try and define this entire film. But I'm not somebody to do that. I will judge the film itself on its own merits if I indeed go on to see it. So whilst I'm not impressed by this trailer, I won't use that as a overall defining criticism as to whether the film will definitely be good or not. Nor will I indeed take any real notice of the Batman fascist line at all. Overall, I believe this is just going to be a very typical comic book adventure, bright, breezy, lighthearted and fun. Nothing too substantial or groundbreaking or amazing. They're clearly going for that more kid family friendly audience, which is probably a smart move given the fact that Blue Beetle was a very unknown entity within a much more of the general mainstream audience. So like Shazam, you're going to adapt that direction in order to try and make it much more of a household name. Now, I'm not sure this film is going to be overall successful, but we will wait and see what happens when it releases later on this year. And of course, when it does reach screens, I will provide both a non-spoiler and spoiler review as I have done with all of the previous DC movies. So look out for that content within the future. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings on the recent Blue Beetle trailer that released and whether the film will indeed go on to be another success or failure within the DC Cinematic Universe as it currently stands. At this stage, I can't really see it grossing any more than Shazam! Fury of the Gods, which was an overall failure. And again, this will just be a further winding down of the Snyderverse before we head on to the new era helmed by James Gunn. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you more enthusiastic about this than I am? Do you think this will be somehow a standout entry within a DC Cinematic Universe? Do you think if it's successful enough that James Gunn may indeed select the character and somehow integrate it into his own new universe? Or do you think this will be just a one and done and that overall feels very generic and familiar than what we've seen many times before? Let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any other suggestions regarding any other movies or television series or any other topics within the pop culture scene that you'd like to see me cover then also let me know and I will see if I can provide further commentary for you on that subject matter within the future. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now, take care of yourselves and I will see you very very soon.